Hey everyone, I'm out here at the garden. It's middle of the week, Wednesday, hump day. I uh, just wanted to show you guys a little update. We're working on getting weeds cleaned up and of course it's a process and it's a job and um, mainly because the weeds grow faster than the plants. So yeah, um, but just gonna show you a little update that we got going on here. So as you can see, we got some partial rows of carrots, they're right here. And they go for a little bit and then they stop. Uh, we did plant another row of carrots. Um, like right here. And they're coming up. I'm gonna <laughs> these little, uh, looks like grass a little bit. Those are carrots that are coming. Um, Mommy. Here we got our other double row Mommy. of carrots coming that Mommy. we're gonna Great grandma just cutting a watermelon open. Oh my gosh. And we're going and she's not gonna eat the other piece, just one piece. Yeah. Can I come eat some? Not right now. Carrots there. These carrots look really good. There's double roll, goes all the way down. You see how nice and tall and bushy they are now? Finally halfway decent after we got all the weeds out of there. Um, here we have purple potatoes. Those are really tall plants too. Let's see. Can't even really show you how tall they really are. Um, here we got just regular red potatoes. And same here. I just tilled these the other day. They're actually looking really good. Not much for weeds in between them or around them. Um, then, of course, our garlic, which is one of my favorite. This is something new we're doing this year, and I can't wait to see what it turns out to be. So, um, actually, I'm going to go in the greenhouse from here. Um, yeah, because here's the door that we're guiding the pumpkins out, and here they come. They're coming right out. So they are getting big. Look at these big honking leaves. Let's see if I can get in here. There. Yeah. There's the pumpkins. Can you see them? They're huge. <clears throat> here we just got some other little plants. They need to be pulled a few weeds out. A um, few cherry tomato plants that are just huge. Um, looks like this watermelon plant is finally growing some. Um, ooh, this one is too. This is the start of it, and then it weaves back into those weeds. So we should really pull those weeds out. I just haven't had a chance. Um, some uh, musk melon coming in here. Yep, see those yellow flowers, if you can see in there, those are going to be turned into musk melons. Um, we still got a few flowers here. Um, otherwise, other stuff is dying off. We're going to let it dry, use it for compost. Um, we have some strawberries there. Whoa. <laughs> um, my son just came out with a slice of watermelon for himself. So it's bigger than his head. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to keep going. So stuff is dying in the greenhouse because we we need to get rid of Mommy. clean it out here. Come so watermelon. I don't want any watermelon, buddy. Okay. I'm telling you, you can come see it. No, I'm good. Okay, please watch out. This is our <laughs> trusty toad. That's what we call it. That lawnmower. Um, one thing I've been missing showing you guys is these. These are our grapevines. And we just put some net over it so the deer and the birds don't get at it. Oh, excuse me. I wanted to see if I could show you. See those little grapes? Those are all going to be grapes this fall. There's a ton of those that are on there. So, very exciting. I'm going to walk over here. 
Show you the sweet corn. It <laughs> seems like the grass is keeping up with the sweet corn, but eh, it's still growing. Not much we can do there. Um, then we got two rows of potatoes right there. Those are looking really good, those two rows. Um, mentioned maybe before that we're, we got some spray to spray off the grasses. And we can use it on pretty much everything but sweet corn. So we sprayed it and as you can see here the grass is really brown. The green stuff is still weeds, so we sprayed that all in here. Um, so we got some rows of potatoes that are going to be weeded. A couple rows of onions here. I tried to till and took out a few, a few onions there. Um, but our onions are still growing. This is this right here. These are still onions, still growing big and tall. Let's see, we have some dill. I knew there was dill in here. These funky things are dill. And there's a lot more coming in. All this stuff is dill. And then here we got peas. These are all peas growing. That's exciting. My peas did not come out real well, so we're not even gonna go there. So yeah, the weeds are kind of just taking over. Like I tell people, we're in a weed crisis. But happens every year. Ah, two rows of cabbage here. We got some cucumbers. This is a really handy tool that we use. This is a, called a claw. Just loosens up the soil and you can pull the weeds right out. As you can see, there's a bunch of, you know, there's a hill, a hill, a hill, a hill, a hill, hills of cucumbers. So there's a bunch of grass. We have not sprayed the cucumbers. We're a little nervous. I don't know why, but there's tons of grass in there. So maybe someday we can uh, spray them. Here is a nice hill of cucumbers. They're just growing like crazy. Whew. It's coming. There's some deer tracks in here, which is not real great. Not real exciting. But what do you do? Just this last weekend we had gotten like three, almost four inches of rain. So uh, kind of did a little bit of damage to some of our plants here. But we're just going to go down the line here. We got summer squash coming. There's another one right there. And there's a couple more little tiny ones down there. Here we got some kale, kale, if you can see the kale in there. And then after that there's dill, this is all dill. And this dill is almost ready. As you can see, some of it is actually blooming like that one. So that one's almost done. Those are the early dill that we planted. Um, we got two rows of cauliflower and they are huge. We are working on weeding as you can see where we're at there with the bucket and the claw down there. Um, making progress. But they are growing but these, this first row right here, the leaves are really wilted and almost like they got hurt by something. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. And then we got broccoli. Hopefully in the next two weeks we should have broccoli and cauliflower coming. And then we got beans. The beans really sprouted with that rain. They really grew. They are almost knee high. And we got another row of green beans here. 
um, some eggplant along here. I tilled today, this afternoon, and these are pepper rows. And after I tilled, there's like no weeds to pick, so that's kind of cool. So now I just got pepper rows. But, so what, you can see where I stopped down there halfway. We sprayed the top half for the grass stuff over a week ago so I could till this. And I just sprayed down there two days ago. So we're not able to, to till down there. But there's a couple exciting things I want to show you. Um, we have some peppers set on, if I can find them. Wherever they are, here's one. Look at a little tiny pepper. That is so exciting. Very exciting for us. Um, we do have a few hot peppers that have set on too that I may not be able to find right off the bat. But e either way, still very exciting considering that hailstorm that we had did not take out too many of our pepper plants. So, um, oh, the reason I came down here is because we have kohlrabi. Look at that. This thing. This kohlrabi right there. I don't care for kohlrabi, but there are people who like kohlrabi. So, those are ready to pick and be eaten if people want them. Um, keep going. I'm not sure what these are. These are either radishes or beets in here. All right here, these. Can't remember. And deer tracks. Deer tracks. Ah. Darn deers. These are radishes, I know that for sure. Um, we're gonna move on to our tomatoes. Right here. Huge seller is tomatoes. Um, so our previous red tiller that we had kind of broke and I found out that it was like 40 years old, 30 to 40 years old. So um, we bit the bullet. I shouldn't say we. Um, my grandmother-in-law bit the bullet and bought a new one so that should be here next week so I can till between these. I tried to till with the other one but it was taking out leaves and I didn't want that to happen anymore. <laughs> but you can still see the rows, the four rows of tomatoes here. And they're all looking really good. There's flowers on some. I tilled um, down our path that we can drive down when we're harvesting. Um, and I also sprayed for the grass here two days ago. And you gotta leave it sit for about a week, so we're leaving it sit. <laughs> Hopefully it should start turning brown. But here we have four rows of tomatoes, as you can see. The four rows. Let's see. One, two, three, four rows. We have late cabbage that is pretty tiny actually i'm kind of surprised so until those red flags and then after that there is potatoes and you can see those coming up too so that that's really all i have for today so i hope you enjoy watching things grow just like i do it's fun